Hi, welcome back to the game room. This is Brad, and we are doing an unboxing video of the Spring Fever Xbox 360 GameStop order. Has uh, comes with a standard 360 and a few extra games. We're going to see what it looks like. Also, we are doing a special unboxing of Mountain Dew Dew Shine, which is Mountain Dew that is clear and made with sugar. Real sugar. Real sugar, real not sugar. fake real sugar. Real fake sugar. Real sugar. <laughs> it's clear, and it's fancy. There's like fancy stickers on it, and it's not lumescent green. So I wonder if my pee will look normal after drinking this. So it's already fairly unboxed, but we're going to take a taste test and see how it goes. Okay, we're back. And we got our dew shines here with an old fashioned church key. If you know what that is. Yeah, totally know what that is. I'm guessing it's a bottle opener. Stick it, yeah, right there. Oh, wow. Look at those couple of bubbles. <laughs> All right, so cheers. Cheers. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it tastes like Sprite, honestly. It honestly tastes like Sprite. I, I feel uh, there's a little bit of Mountain Dew. It's like a little smoother, but it also is like flavored down. It tastes like, yep, Sprite. It tastes like flat Sprite yeah. mixed with a little bit of Mountain Dew. That's what it tastes like. Like a, a kick of that Mountain Dew-esque flavor, like their signature flavor. Yep. Otherwise, I am just drinking straight up Sprite. Mm -hmm. So, my and opinion... And less bubbly. Not really worth it. The whole attraction to me for Mountain Dew is that it has that artificial chemical flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Dew and Doritos. Yeah, Mountain Dew and Doritos. You know you're getting nothing good out of that, except flavor. Yeah, so this... Hit, very, very hit or miss for me. Well, what's your final opinion, Brad? Yeah, I mean, if I want to get Mountain Dew, I'm going to get Mountain Dew instead of this. That said, if this was put in front of me, I don't mind it. It's it's okay, but it does taste like flat Sprite mixed with yeah. a little bit of Mountain Dew. It's not a bad flavor, but it's just not really a Mountain Dew flavor, I think. Well, on to our next thing, right? The package! <gasps> You'll notice that this box has no... Indications of fragile on it. No indication. It could be anything. Could be anything. Which I was a little shooting, upset shooting, about shooting. because I paid good money for this product and I heard the UPS guy outside my door just throw it on the ground and went smack and I was like, oh great. <laughs> leave it leave it to GameStop to not actually care about the products that they're giving people. And not to write um, fragile on the box. Oh, you get packaged air get for free. Packaged air for what free. A, what a bonus. Okay, so what I bought, I bought the 360, the original 360, like the S model. Sorry, the uh, Elite model for $100, and that came with eight games. And then I went ahead and I bought the S model for 200 and that came with four games. So all in all, with taxes, shipping... Uh, it came to three three fifty. So the what you can pay right now for an Xbox One with one game, I got two three sixties and a total of twelve games. Wow! Just about twelve games. And if you remember from our last video, my original Xbox broke. Womp womp. And I decided to make a make a journey to GameStop and get two new systems for the price of one. So here are the games we got. Do these come with hard drives? Yes. The S model came with a 250 gigabyte hard drive, and the original Xbox, the Elite, came with a 20 gig hard drive, which is fine because I still have my 120 gigabyte hard drive. So I'm just gonna swap, swap out. them out. Because 20 gigs will hold like three games now. Right. This is the best game ever made. Can you believe <laughs> that they gave this to me for? Like, for reef. <laughs> wow, 
Wow, they couldn't even give me the original box art for Grand Theft Auto 4. Ouch. Tomb Raider. Darksiders 2. You knew that you were getting all these games? Like, these were specifically the ones? Did you get a choice in picking them out, or was it just... I did not get a choice. They said, here's the games that you're getting. Correct. Okay. Oh, man. You got Gears of War Judgment. They just announced that that's the April oh, Games for Gold. I figured it was coming. That's why they're dumping it off on you. That's why they're dumping it. Well, here's the, uh, not labeled. Not, not labeled. Normally they have a... Yeah, normally it's on the silver part. Normally it's on the silver part. 20 gig hard drive. Oh well. I could probably just rip the hard drive out of here and, uh, use it as, like, some sort of external capture card for, like, the Apog rocket. Okay, so this is what we've all been waiting for, the big, the big release. Actually, let me show the games really, 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 really fast. So it comes with Burnout Paradise. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Gears of War Judgment. Far Cry 3, which if you haven't played that by now, get to it. Get to it. Borderlands 2, which is almost useful, useless now. Classic enemy. Uh, Bioshock Infinite, which is free right now for another three days. Hey, hey. Darksiders 2, which was free a couple months ago. A couple months ago. <laughs> they really planned this package well. I guess if you haven't owned a uh, 360, though, these are decent right. games. Tomb Raider, which is actually a really, really good game. Was also free. Uh, Mass Effect. No. Tomb Raider was free. Am I wrong? Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I can't remember. I want to say it was only free on the Xbox One and not. Mm. It doesn't matter. Mass Effect 3, which is almost now obsolete because they're coming out with the uh, remaster. remaster. In fact, this uh, this has not had its seal broken, so it is unopened. Oh, nice. Interesting. All the all these games were supposed to be used, so it's good to see that it's... Uh, yeah, seal unbroken. seal unbroken. Grand Theft Auto 5, which... Oh, nice. Yeah. Red Dead Redemption. I feel like half the games aren't in here. Oh, that's why, because oh, they're not weird. in their spindles. They just... Uh, why did they do that? There's a couple reasons why they do that. One is because when a GameStop store cannot sell their games, they ship them back to corporate. Uh. Which may or may not be an answer to the people that were dumpster diving. That everything gets shipped back to corporate now. So sad. So this is probably the original packaging from the GameStop stores where they pulled them from their envelopes, stuck it in a case, and then shipped it to corporate corporate. Correct. Just ships it. Oh, nice. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. With no, hanging out. no manuals or anything. And then Grand Theft Auto 4. I wonder if they threw... Platinum Hits Edition. How about that? I wonder if they threw the manuals out so the discs would fit. That would suck if you missed out on those. And all the DLC that could have gone with them. Yeah, seriously. Okay, well that's enough of that. You guys aren't really here to see the game, which 90% of you have already played. It's good to know how they comes packaged if you ever need to order this, though. Yep. I actually, I highly recommend never buying anything from GameStop, but that's my own opinion. Uh, and we can get into that in a, a later video. There you go. So this going to be the S model, hence the side of the box, and then this, oh no, wait, actually they're both the exact same uh, picture on the side of the box, but we know that one of them is, a, is an S and one of them is, a, is an Elite. In fact, this is probably the best deal going for you right now at GameStop. They want you to spend $200 on a Xbox E model with one game, which th honestly the difference between the, the S and the E is marginal at best. Mm -hmm. um, some people say that there's a better chipset in the E versus the S, but honestly you're, you're just arguing about a two year window, 18 month window at best. Um, that was the shortest turnaround. A product. What was the one game that the E came with? One was Lego Hobbit, mm. and then the other one I think might have been um, 
Grand Theft Auto V or Tomb Raider, some, something fairly, fairly newish. Not bad. Okay, so Whoa. wow, that is that looks really beat, beat up. as fuck. <laughs> look how look how the color is different. It's like someone left this out in the sun, and it just baked. How does it feel? Is it, it like... feels like someone which was just blowing smoke on it <laughs> for like three years. It feels really, really grimy and dirty. Well, good thing you already have so. Or um, it has been left in the box for like years on end and the plastic itself is just decorated. Corroded. But other than that, I mean, it looks like it's in really good shape. Yeah, the, it's uh, clean. It's, it's clean. a nasty color. Yeah. Look at the pause and start buttons compared to the face. Yeah. It's like visibly, oh geez. That's weird. These aren't even for the... Component cables. Oh, weird. Yeah, um, these are definitely not the original Microsoft cables. Unless I am mistaken, but I'm pretty sure the original cables are solid gray and have Xbox or Microsoft logos written on them. These look like um, third party third party cables because this one right here says PlayStation 3 to PS2. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. Will that even work? Doesn't seem like the input. Two Xbox it. original Xbox. This one here. So this is your 360 cable. Essentially, this is probably someone's multi-adapter for multiple system plugins. And um, yeah, wow, GameStop, you, uh, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay. I guess that works. There's your power cord, brick. I wonder if they order that for all their used PS3, PS2, and Xboxes, and they just throw that same cord in, throw in there. every single one. That could, yeah, I have no idea. Oh, hey, look, they give me free batteries. That is the best deal ever. Nice touch, free GameStop. Batteries. We should test these to see if they're also factory refurbs and super old, not, and has zero charge. They did give me a Falcon sticker on there. Wow. Gotta get some Nintendo product placement in there. What is it? Yeah, why does that say Falcon? <laughs> Oh God. Uh, instructions on how to set up your 360. Awesome. Are they the original instructions or? The GameStop instructions. Cool. Well, there you go. You got a little smudge there. Uh, Fairly standard. Also says Falcon there. I wonder if that's like a grading system. Or is there a dude named Falcon that ex inspects them? That'd be pretty sweet. We should do an action now, movie. Now, I know that this is a refurb, so it doesn't surprise me that, that the stickers here have been uh, moved or dislodged in some way. They cracked they, it open. They had to crack it open and uh, probably replace the heat sink or do some other uh, factory refurb to it. Do they give you a warranty? There's a 30-day warranty. Just Same. pretty much standard. Use it quick. Oh, well, it actually already broke, folks. Hey, hey! So I was moving the uh, moving the memory card slots, and I just slowly moved this, and the whole thing just popped right out. All right, quality. Yeah, quality. And there looks to be like a burn mark right here, or some like smudge. Well, when you're smoking on your controller, <laughs> yeah. sometimes you got to put it out, and you just use the disc tray, right? Use the disc tray. That's so convenient. I'm gonna plug it in really quickly to see if it just dies on me. I might blame the UPS guy for throwing that on the floor. It was packaged pretty well. Like, hopefully it can withstand some drop. I remember when I first got my 360, I stood it up vertically because I thought that was cool and my sister walked by and knocked it over and totally destroyed my Gears of War disc. Absolutely. Did it, did it shatter? No, it just had that ring of oh, scratches ring. that makes it unplayable. Looks like it functions adequately. 
I don't know if that's worth taking it back to GameStop and being like, fix this. Uh, you don't really use the memory card slots very much anymore, do you? No one uses them. Yeah. I think that's why they finally got rid of them. It's a weird feature. It's too small. Yeah, I mean, the biggest memory card, I think even in the aftermarket, were around... Uh, like 125 megabytes? Yeah. Or, you got 128. Or like 128 megabytes. Yeah. And now you can plug in a, a 32 gigabyte thumb drive. Yeah, much better. Yeah. Well, it boots up, seems to be fine. We'll uh, run through its paces later in the day. On to the next one. They make any different packaging? Things. Ooh! So that puts a, a end to your theory, Brad, that they throw out different cables into the box. <laughs> well, actually, they do throw different cables. <laughs> Entirely right. different cables. Entirely different cables. So <laughs> this has 360 on it, so that's the correct cable it should be anyway for the newer models. And you didn't pay extra for it to be camo or any different edition or anything, right? No, I did not. Black controller. Black controller, which looks to be in better shape. Not a different color not than the original color. Than the original. Is it a battery pack or a charge pack? Battery pack. Battery pack. You think they could have been nice and thrown in some charge packs for free? Power brick and free batteries. So classy. Although, this is not the correct power cable for this brick. Perfect. If you can see here, this has this divinant in it, and this power cable is the third edition of the Xbox Elite. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So this is the original power brick for the Xbox Elite, or just standard Xbox 360. As the bricks were updated, before the S model was released, there was a divot in here, and it would plug in like this. So, technically it will still work, but the power differences between the two range, if I remember correctly from this article I read, uh, like 50 hertz. Hmm. So it's not really going to be a detriment to the system, as like far as I know. Slightly underpower? Yeah, or slightly overpower it. Hmm. Okay, so we're back again. We just wanted to film a quick little snippet to fill in the gaps of some of the things that we mentioned in our other video. And then we're, you know, we'll just splice it all together like good editors. And this is the Xbox S power brick and power cable. There's my S model right there. Okay, so in the last video, like I mentioned, the cables are different. I just wanted to prove that here. So this is the brick, and it's on, as you can see, so I haven't done any weird things to it. And that's the plug in there, so that's standard, just like on the Arctic Blast. And then this is the actual power cable that it's supposed to be. Ah, no little notch there. No little notch. And I can prove that because here on the plastic, you probably can't see it, but it says 2011, which is the date that. that the console came out. And then if you really look in here, which the camera's not going to be able to see, it has the voltage rating for the plug and stuff like that. Mm. And then it matches the back of the plug right here. And if I really wanted to prove that, so it says 10A250 volts, and then this says 10A at 125 volts to 1250 watts. So that's well within the range, right? Science. Science, as far as... I know, but let me just, yeah, 250 volts and 125 volts. So, yeah, those two work work well together, and, you know, we're on the floor here because I didn't want to rip everything out. But let me just go grab the Arctic, and um, we'll compare the two again. So, Arctic, Arctic power box, brick thing, 
and cable. And upon further looking, we've discovered that it's actually a third-party power cable. So not even the original Xbox cable. Uh, this, of course, is the original brick. It says Microsoft on it. And upon closer instru uh, view, instructions, whatever, it says 125, 250. Uh, it'll work. It's just not the best situation. So there you go. Fine. So and you're making a bigger carbon footprint. Thanks to GameStop. We'll uh, plug it in Powered On and see what happens. I already have an S in the office that we use for capturing, and we'll compare these two and we'll just see what's going on. I could be absolutely wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is not the right cable for this. I think you're right. I mean, even if it's refurbished, like, come on, GameStop, I want the correct parts for all of my <laughs> stuff. Seriously. I'm okay with this, because it still works. But this and this, this is honestly it? don't, they do not go together. So I wonder what edition this is. There wasn't ever just a standard like camo release. It was paired with a game of some sort. I'm guessing probably Call of Duty or something. But if you know, if you know exactly what type of edition it is, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Let us know. Well, this is the, the Arctic Blast edition. Oh, so that's the specific name? That's the specific name that, that the bundle is under. But it looks like they had a whole bunch of Call of Duty consoles left over, and they were just trying to get rid of them. So I don't know if this camo was actually for Call of Duty or whatnot. Oh my goodness, that's going to create quite the audio spike. Um, these might be specially... Uh, designed consoles for GameStop to sell huh. because this sticker here says GameStop all these stickers on the back here say GameStop and the only one that's actually broken that came with the 360 is this one right here which is what you'd need to crack to open it so it's like a custom case then specifically from GameStop uh, not not a case if you look right here they're just wraps oh, okay. so they're just cosmetic wraps and in fact, this one was not put on. Very, it was put on well, but not very well because this is not lined up perfectly and the, around the power button. It's not quite even. No. But I'm just being overly picky. We will still play our video games. Can't be that mad. Yep. Well, hopefully, with a different power brick. This system here will probably die. I'm giving it 18 months. So we'll see what happens. This thing should last a good five years, all because of the fans. So sad that that's the life, life expectancy when my regular Nintendo from my birth still functions just fine. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Ooh. Yep, look at that disc tray action. Fascinating. Remix. I've actually never done that because I have the Gears of War Special Edition and so it makes the sound of the theme song. So I've never actually played around with the, uh, the, original. the original. I wonder if that's actually going to break my 360. Oh, you got 30 days. Cool. Well, that's the, uh, that's the unboxing video and we drank some Dew Shine. If you... So many new firsts. So many new firsts. I feel like we should just go out and do a whole bunch of other first things. I don't know what that means, but um, post a comment if you want us to go do other first things. Right, Brad? That's right. Cool.